already there. And boy, is he having a party in there. And, and uh, he's dialing the number, and then uh, it's, I guess you would just call it Vandalism of the Spotify. <laughs> That's the name of this dance. Vandalism of the Spotify. 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 Okay, so, so we've got um, a guest audience member here who has solved the riddle. Hannah, right? It's Hannah, right? Yeah. Hannah, Candace's friend, watching. What what are you saying? It, it you're saying that it is what? It's spot a pot. Spot a pot, which we looked up and is a, it's a brand. It's a, it's a brand of porta potties that you can it rent. Is. Apparently in Pennsylvania, pretty big. There. And and that was not the guy who went in naked. That was a witness. A witness. And I didn't understand that. So now I do understand that. Now you understand. I guess you would call it vandalism of the spot a pot, like vandalism of the porta john. Is what I would call it. Yeah, well, porta potty. There was like a million other puns that he could have come up with that were actual jokes, but I guess it wasn't in him. If he told you, you wouldn't even believe him. What was it? What did you say? Mm, yep. If I told you, you wouldn't even. You, you wouldn't believe me. That's all I said. <laughs> um, I've got another one that's pretty amazing. Um, something caught in a toilet or found in a toilet. Uh, first of all, lots of rings. Uh, have been lost in toilets over the years. Th that, that's nothing special, but right. this story is a little special. 1975, this, this one spans many years, so let's, let's go back to 1975. Let's go back. Donna Claver of Stanford, Montana took off her wedding ring to wash her hands and placed it on the toilet seat. Two, okay. obs two observations here. I don't understand either step. Right, uh, Donna, you don't need to take off your wedding band to wash your hands. Matter of fact, leave it on and wash, wash it too. Right. Like a normal human being. But if you must take it off, why teeter it on the edge of a toilet seat? That's just, mm. that's she just de ignorant. She deserves everything. I don't know how she got it. a wedding band at all, <laughs> you know? Um, so of course the ring falls in the toilet. Of course she clamors to grab it. You know what? But couldn't reach it. She, I believe that it was in the toilet, but this sounds like a made up story as to why. I think. You know how it is. Over, maybe oversimplified. Like when, okay. When you like Donna, I take it back. Drop I, your phone. I, will you marry me? No, but I would marry you. Because that's not what I mean. She's lying. Is what I'm saying. Oh. You know, like when you drop your phone. If you drop your phone in a urinal, which I've almost done before. That's admit. If you, if you don't want to admit. That, you'd be like, oh no, I gotta come up with another story for this. Oh, I dropped my phone in the sink. You know, or you. But I shouldn't be so hard on her because right. I mean I've dropped deodorant in the toilet. Deodorant. A week ago. Deodorant. But it was a, it was a recently flushed toilet. So. Can you explain? I was applying deodorant over an open toilet. And you lost the grip. It was an efficient. You were really going for there it. Was, it was. <laughs> Too, too much leverage, man. Listen, it was an efficiency thing. You know how sometimes I want to get out of the house that much quicker? Two things at once. I was pinging and applying deodorant at the same time. Must I spell this out? But I did flush, and as I flushed. That's a fool's errand, man. As I flushed, and it was filling back up, that's when I dropped the deodorant. It just in. slipped right out? It just slipped right out. What am I supposed to do? Flush again, I it'll get stuck. So I, I fish it out and I, I still use it to this day. <laughs> yeah, it's moisture now. It was not a soiled, to well it was a soiled toilet but it wasn't full of urine. Oh, you 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 peed then you flushed Flush, and then, and then, then as dropped. it was filling back up I dropped. That's the proper way to do it if you're gonna do it. But she couldn't find the, the um, and she probably is watching, or her, her daughter or her granddaughter's watching right now. So to the entire Claver family, I wanna take back what I said. Right. It, pr it probably wasn't this simplified. Yeah. You, you probably, and, and I've dropped stuff in the toilet. That's right. I've just admitted yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I've dropped other things in the toilet too that I can't remember, but I'm sure it happens to me all the time. Anyway, this happened to you, and we're talking about you again now. We are. You couldn't get your uh, ring out, and uh, I don't really know why at this point either that you just couldn't fish it out somehow, but it was gone. Her husband gets called to the scene. Uh, they pulled the whole toilet up looking for this yeah, thing. Right. Couldn't find it. Um, and you were thinking again, at that point, you pull the whole toilet up, you shake it. That's in, well it's gone. Oh, it sounds like there's a ring in there. Oh no, it's it gone. Must be the ring I dropped in there. No, happen. all they concluded was it's gone. Right. 
they gave up on it. Um, they eventually move away. Fast forward 36 years later. That's a lot of years later. Uh, Terry, her husband, the one who um, couldn't find the ring either, uh, happened to be, get this, working on a house across the street and he looks over there and sees that they've done some renovation, they're doing renovations on the house that he used to live in, and lo and behold, they're walking out with the toilet. Huh. That's, the, that's the toilet from my, I remember that toilet. my old bathroom. Yeah. And he goes over there and he says, well, if, if you guys are throwing this out, you mind if I uh, have it? And yeah. I guess he was thinking, I don't, I guess he was thinking, I wanna give this toilet another once over, because he takes it, mm -hmm. and not only does he look through the whole thing, he takes a sledgehammer to it. Like, this guy has a 36 year uh, latent intuition to sledgehammer the toilet. Right. And he finds the ring in there. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah. Can you believe it? I can. What do you mean you can believe it? I mean, because you're telling me. Yeah, that's true. You wouldn't make this up. Right. Well, I would, but there'd be backlash. Um, so he decides to surprise Donna by proposing to her all we over could again. Make all this stuff up, no, by the way. No, no one would know. We could, yes. They wouldn't know. Um, so he decides Let's to start doing that. Pro like to repropose to her. I think they were still together, but it was like a you know just a, a gesture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A way to a, a renewal and, of the vows and a way to reveal that he found the ring. Like, oh, this is the what? And you and did you clean it first? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. The, the sad thing is, she said no. <laughs> Wow, I thought it was gonna be a happy ending. No, they got they, they actually got divorced. Got divorced because she was like, she says, now that I think about it, you sled now that you've you're giving me a reason to think about our marriage, no, I don't wanna continue. <laughs> yeah. That last part's made up, now that we it, didn't make that yeah, up. Now yeah, that, now that I'm supposed to actually make an active decision. I, it's been passive yeah, for all these yeah, years. If you're in a marriage that's been going for 36 years, don't, don't shake it for out. trouble, man. Don't shake it out. Yeah, don't see if she's happy. Don't sledgehammer the tug. She's not. <laughs> oh, that is sad. <laughs> Don't ask her if she's happy. She is not. Wow. Oh wow. wow. What does that say to What does that say to all the people it's, um, it's who a, are aspiring it, or in young joke. marriages? It's or? a joke. It's a joke, Link. Ooh, Just truth, like that whole story about the in toilet her. and the drink. Is there something you need to tell us about your uh, quality of your I've uh, only marriage? Been, I've only been married for fourteen years. My wife's happy.